9 o'clock in 21 degrees, only one more degree, and Barbara and I both won already, the weathermen out of the picture at 17 degrees, didn't stand a chance. Tuesday, October the 4th, and believe me folks, you're going to love this, because today we're catching up with a good friend of ours, Dan Washburn, and believe me, uh, it's good to catch up with our buddy man, it really, really is. First of all, let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today, yes, I want to welcome along everybody that's joining us from no matter where you are in the world, it is such a pleasure to have you on board, it really, really is. Uh, let me just move this a little bit. Now, if you're uh, watching for the first time, well, check this out. Why not sub, thumb, bell, bingo. Uh, bell notifications when we have important people, much like Dan Washburn, joining us today and at the same time he's coming out of ontario too by the way at the same time thumb you know like us get epileptic with that thing subscribe become part of the family we call the noise yeah believe me and it's growing exponentially every day it is such a pleasure to have everybody on board and let me tell you how happy we are to be in association with rise up tv big record sony music the orchard here with galaxy <laughs> Another in the artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV. Leave a record and Sony Music in Washington. And absolutely, you know, Canadians, we've got to have a Canadian theme today. And of course, we're going to be talking to Dan Washburn. Uh, Merv Penny's joining us. Merv, it's been a dog's age, brother man. You've got to get in touch with you. Believe me, there's been a lot of things happening. We'd love to find out what's been going on in your neck of the woods. So welcome to Galaxy Bro, it is nice to have you on board. Today we're talking to Dan Washburn coming out of Ontario with What If, right here at Galaxy. <laughs> oh gosh it's hot in here. What's the temperature like over there Dan? Yeah we got our first frost of the year. Really? Really? Look. Yeah. You're coming into winter, it's aren't you? It, it, it played havoc on the last bit of whatever was in the garden. We got most of the garden all emptied out, so. Fair enough, fair enough. But it, it killed uh, all of the flowers out in the back. The front ones out in the front of the house, they seem to survive. They're all closer to the house. Okay, okay. So they survived, yeah. Very cool. Um, I, I noted that you started playing lap steel originally. I did. Do you still play? No. <laughs> Why not? Um, I just ended up gravitating to the bass. Okay. By the time I was about 12, and when I was 13, I started playing in bands out, and I just instantly understood the bass. Right. Um, I don't, I can't explain it. It just seemed to be home for me. Um, there was no planned anything. The, the reason why I'm saying this is I actually have a friend of mine coming out of North Carolina. His name is... Right literally is Terry Van Cannon. He's a lap steel master. He literally gave up the guitar to take up the lap steel back in the day. He, believe wow. me, today he's absolutely fantastic. Mike Gill's joining us. Nice to have you on board, Mike. Welcome back. Uh, of course, from the band Live So. Loving that. Karen Avila is joining us. Oh, Karen Avila McKenzie is joining us. Let's get the whole thing right. Nice to have you on board, Karen. It really is. Uh, now, I hope you didn't mind me uh, throwing in that little, you know, blind joke. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, I was talking to Barbara just prior to um, coming in to talk to you, and I said, you know, it's been a year since we've spoken, and I still haven't yeah. got any new jokes. <laughs> because ah. Barbara's always telling me, get a new joke, get a new joke. So, um, mm, I hope that one worked. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. Hi, Ken. Ken Meekin is joining us as well. Nice to have you back, Ken. It really, it's 21 degrees. Put another 10 degrees for being in here with all the computers and stuff. It's yeah, I think it warmed up here to about 7 or 8 today. It, it's a little cool today. 7 or 8. Uh, yeah, we did that a few months ago, actually. Yeah, I know. We're, we're trying to reverse schedules here. <laughs> but, 
Let's get to the desk. I hope I get the right button. The uh, Kekos have changed things. Right, you're right here at Delta. Whoa, that's really, really uh, turned the game down a little bit. What do you reckon? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> nice to have everybody on board. Nick Plews is joining us. Paul Harkins, yes, both members out of the band, the Heartland Roots Band. Nick, your football team won this morning. Amazing. Nottingham, not a chance, eh? Yeah, Leicester, absolutely. My team, me and you. Yeah, a little disgraceful, I've got to admit. Uh, I'm sure Paul Harkins will agree with me with that one. Having said that, today we're talking to a good friend of ours, and we've known each other now for about five years. He's put up with me that long. I don't know whether he needs a psychiatrist, because I've got a couple I can hand him, you know. <laughs> or maybe it's just uh, he likes being interviewed. You never know. Might be able to find this out. Got to say hi also to Stephen Ballor, uh, who's promoting Dan at the moment. Uh, Formerly from Pinky Sims' stables, now gone out with Stephen Ballor. I think things are absolutely going for him. Dan, welcome back. Thank you, Grant. How are you, buddy? Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely fantastic. Can you say something again? I've got to make sure I've got the right button. Yeah, no worries. I yeah. was just uh, wondering how are you doing at Barbara? Is Barbara hanging around there, too? Oh, yeah, you can't see the magic wandy thing going? Hello, Miss Barbara. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. You can Believe see it, it now. That, there's the uh, magic wand thing. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. You, when you see that, you know she's not far away. It's like, uh, right. do you remember Darth Vader? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember that uh, yeah. lightsaber thing he had? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, How dangerous he was with that thing? Right now. I want one of those. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So do I. Because believe me, she's dangerous with that thing. It's like Darth Vader's. <laughs> You, it's a hard hat area. You've got to move quickly to get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> and Nick Blue says, hey, up the foxes, Dan, uh, from your CMSM stable mates in the UK. Who's that? Uh, uh, Nick Blue's coming out of the UK. Uh, he's, nice. He says, up the foxes, hi, Dan, from your CMSM stable mates in the UK. Oh, beautiful. And uh, let me tell you, Nick, Dan, uh, sort of getting over a little jet lag, he's just returned home just recently from Ireland, doing a tour in Ireland. So he's familiar with your backyard, bro. He is. There you go. Uh, Nick Clues is coming out of the UK from a band called the Heartland Roots Band. Believe me, they, okay. they're killing it here at Galaxy at the moment. They really are, but I'm not going to tell them that. Awesome. <laughs> I hope to go over to the UK next year, uh, to the UK, Holland. And Ireland again. Nice. That's, nice. What, we're, that's what we're talking about, yeah. I'm oh, going to kind of make a bit of a loop there. Very cool. Are you familiar with uh, Rise Up TV? Uh, yes. Have you been on Rise Up TV? Have you been on the bus? I don't know. <laughs> I don't th not that I'm aware of, but I, I, I'm the, I'm... I follow me the least of everybody. <laughs> right, well, I, I tell you what, if you'd been on the bus, you wouldn't forget it because, well, you know, it's a TV uh, documentary. Well, I haven't done it live, no. Okay, well, believe me, we might be able to try and get you introduced to uh, uh, everybody over there. Right now, would you believe Tim Steinreich and Lisa from uh, Rise Up TV are currently yep. in England, in the UK. They've just been in Paris a wee while ago uh, doing the world tour thing. They're making their way, would you believe... Uh, next year, they're going to be here in March. Nice. Yeah, believe me, it's going to be fantastic too, because what uh, be uh, Rise Up are doing is bringing about four or five artists over. We're throwing in a couple of bands, and uh, oh, they're, they're going to really India. Spectacular. Yeah, they're going to India. They're going to Papua New Guinea. Now, there's a big deal with that, because one of, one of our artists over there, one of the top artists in the whole country, uh, he's going to be joining them and then coming here as well. So we're going to be doing about four or five shows. Here holler if they need a bass Tell them to holler if they need a bass player. I think we've got to cover Dan, but I'll tell you what, we okay. do need a Dan Washburn. So just come on over. 
we can do it. Nice. I like it. Believe me, I'd love to be able to do a couple of shows with you, Dan. I really would. That'd be brilliant. I, I'd do it. Yeah, in a heartbeat. Nice. I was telling my Nashville guys there, what, a year or two ago, said, you know, Grant, Grant, if we can get over to, I saw all the guys like, you know, um, Chris and uh, uh, Chris Lusinger, he plays with Garth Brooks. In fact, when I was in Ireland, I finally got to see Garth Brooks for the first time. Chris got me a, a ticket. And, and uh, I got to see Garth. He was, because Chris has been, although he did all the sessions for 30 years, he's over 30 years. He, the last couple of years, he's done the stadium tours. So he's doing live dates with Garth. And I'm telling you, it was larger than life. It was a lot of fun. Garth is crushing it. He's still singing great. The band was ridiculously good. No, it was very, very good. So anyway, yeah, Chris and all the guys in Nashville, they all want to come to news now. They want to go down to New Zealand and then meet you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, believe me, we would love and bring Garth with you. Is he wearing the white hat or the black hat these days? I didn't. Uh, would be wear. I think he. I don't know. If, uh, I don't think he had a hat on for very long. Very black. <laughs> I think he had the black one. Yeah, fair enough too. Are you familiar with Rod Black? Uh, I am. He's gone back in the day, would you believe, and reformed Jet Black Steer. There's new work coming out of that stable very, very shortly. I'm looking forward to Rod Black's new music. Wow. And he also wears the black hat. Yeah, we'll have to hear that, man. We'll have to look for that. Well, I'll tell you what, when we get it in, uh, I won't say anything to Rod. I'll get Barbara to pass you on a copy. What do you reckon? Yeah, I'd love that. Uh, Nick Blue says, country music, social media, see you in the UK, Dan. Well, there you go. Yeah. If you want a band to work yeah. with, I can recommend the Heartland Roots band immediately. There you go. There you go. And you'll love the lead singer too. She's gorgeous. Perfect. <laughs> she really... You need somebody to stand beside you to make you look good, you know? Well, I tell... no, no, believe me. This young lady, opera trained, literally classically oh, trained, wow. comes out of South Africa, makes her home in the UK with her husband, everything like that, absolutely yeah. kills it with the band. She is just wow. so good. You'd love to work with her. she's classically trained. She is. She's amazing. Yeah. That's kind great. Of, That's very cool. Kind of takes me down the track of like, um, uh, what was it from Queen? Uh, Freddie Mercury, for instance. Right, right, right. You know, same, same kind of deal. Mm. Yeah. Brilliant. Did all the classics join the rock band. <laughs> I love it. Uh, love it. No, you know what? Now I've got to go look them up when I get out of here. Oh, well, okay. Believe me, you will love them. Now, we started yeah. the show off, Dan. We've been waffling a little bit, I've been told. Uh, what if? Tell me about this. Let's refresh our memory. Well, for how the song came about? Yeah. Um, I, uh, I was talking to some friends that I write with. I write with a lot of different people, but, but a couple of Nashville that I write with. And I'd have the title. I'd been carrying the title for a year or so. And I remember... There was a relationship. It's, they're all about that, right? It's always either either good ones or bad ones or indifferent ones. And this was just about nothing really crazy bad happened, but it didn't work out. And you always ask yourself, well, what if? Well, what if I'd have done that? And what if I'd and what if I'd and then it finally, you know, I mean, to to be healthy mentally, you have to just let it all go at some point. And so that's. So we were, so that was it. It was just, just this guy that had been through it, and he's just doing all the usual things, like asking himself, "Well, what if I'd have done this different? What if I'd have done that? What if I can't forget you? What if I can't? Well, you know, all the all the crazy stuff you ask yourself and you put yourself through that you don't actually need to." You know, I get it. I really do. In fact, Dan, here's something you might find interesting. Just the other day, I was talking to a country artist, and I says, "You know, the future's coming." so fast it, it just you can't stop it right and he goes what are you pertaining right. to i says well very shortly i'm going to start hearing songs from country artists singing on their rocking chairs with a whiskey in their hand or a um, moonshine in their hand drowning their sorrows about how their electric ute ran away with the wife <laughs> it's going to happen it's going to happen i can see it um, look at them the crystal <laughs> ball we got to write that one, buddy. <laughs> it's going to happen, bro. I can hear it. Brad Rayner is joining us. Ken Meekin says CMSM here. Nice, absolutely. Now, uh, Dan, I've been chomping at the bit to do this. I really, really have. Your eyes. Tell me about your eyes. In your eyes. Well, it's it's a love song, obviously. I mean, it's... And it's... Um, my buddy Ken... Uh, that I wrote this with Ken. It was Ken's initial idea. 
uh, usually they're mine initially, but this one, my buddy Ken, Ken Wilgosh, uh, and you're going to hear some stuff coming out of him uh, soon. He used to be with MCA Records back in the day, and he's finally going to toss his hat back in the ring and start making records. He's a great, great writer, a brilliant singer, and a good guy. Uh, but Kenny came, had this idea of a song in your eyes, and I looked at it and I said, yeah, I, what about and what about? And he said, well, let's, so we got together and we did a rewrite on it. And it was all the things that, when you look, if you're in love, when you're in love, I love my wife. I actually like her too, which is, you know, even better. And she is a good friend. But all the things you can see when you look in, 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 in your eyes, you know, like when you look in her eyes or when you look in your significant other's eyes, it's, it's just a neat love song. We recorded it. Um, just this past May, so it's fairly new. Uh, we finished writing it, I think, in about March. Um, and then when I went down, um, I laid it down in Nashville, and it went down quick. And it's one of the few times on this track that I did all the harmonies as well. I don't normally do that. And it just lined up for me, and, and there was a few little things that I do, little isms in my voice. And the engineer said, why don't you try laying down Andy Thompson? at Studio 29 up here in Canada. I did the tracking in Nashville, and I did the vocals and the mix mastering all up here, just as usual. And Andy said, have a go. And I I think I laid the harmonies down like 30 minutes, both of them. Amazing. And uh, speaking yeah. as an engineer, that's pretty damn quick. Yeah, oh yeah. That's, that was, it was good. It, I, I think I was like first, second take, and then took a break, had a, had a you know, grabbed a coffee and, Rest your voice for five seconds and then sing the other part. Very cool. Uh, Barney is joining us as well. Nice to have you on board, Barney. Looking forward to having a chat to you this week. Believe me, some business to be done, really. Uh, Dan, it's nice that you love your wife. My wife says to me that she loves me too, especially throwing heavy objects at me. <laughs> That's the truth. Here at Galaxy, breaking for the first time officially. Now, I've got to let you know, we've played it a number of times. You've got 1,731 requests for it so far, so believe me, it is going for it. Here is Dan Washburn, and we're releasing it to the world for the very first time in your eyes. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really. Gosh. It's like love you lots of miles away. Yeah, lots of miles Hi, away. It's, it's like me singing. Uh, I, I, you know, I you sing tenor. Or well, twelve game. miles away from anybody who can hear me. <laughs> yeah, it had to. It had to. It really did. Hey Dan. Quit making you laugh, you make me coffee, bugger. <laughs> Here's something you might find amusing. Um the other day, you see, on Sundays, I go around to a friend's place, we play darts, play pool, you know, social gathering, sometimes the kids turn up and their kids turn up, all that sort of stuff, you know what I mean? And yep. we listen to Galaxy. Well, my mate's son's son comes in. He's about three years of age, right? And he walks up, and there's about half a dozen of us males all hanging around, having a few beers and every other party thing that can go along as well. You know? <laughs> and this kid goes up to his dad and goes, Dad, where does poo come from? <laughs> and we all stopped dead. We looked at him and we went, you're going to have to answer this one on your own, right? So <laughs> my mate's son explains the digestive system, the whole work, the whole shoot and shebang right out to, you know, that's oh, right. And, and the kid's sitting there looking at his dad and he looks really confused and he goes, and Tigger? <laughs> Really happened. You've got to start making me laugh. I can't believe it. Cruel and unusual. Everyone's coughing, but me. Hang on. I was on faculty for Oh dear. Let's go back to Dan. Uh. Breathe through your nose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. 
That was just too no, funny. No, I get it. <laughs> yes. That was just too funny. <laughs> That's yeah. me in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, believe me. Whew, that was fun. Loved it. Yeah, he's all right now. Yeah, I'm fine. I haven't drowned yet. <laughs> I just shouldn't take coffee when I'm telling jokes. Oh, I see. That's what you did. That's what I did, yeah. <coughs> anyway, uh, Dan, we'll wrap it up from here, but you know the story. Don't go anywhere, bro. I do. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today we're joined by Dan Washburn coming out of Stirling, Ontario and uh, you know, fantastic new track in your eyes. Dan, anything new on the way? Yeah, um, I'm writing all the time. I'm busier than ever for writing. Uh, getting back to Nashville as soon as I can. I've got a couple of other artists I'm producing in Canada. I've got a few people that I'm producing now in Ireland. Uh, I've got a duet coming up. Uh, soon out of there uh, that I'm on uh, with a fellow um, and we shot a nice video for it when I was in Ireland on the Dunbrody ships about the famine. My On my mum's side my great 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 I think it's four grandparents emigrated to Canada from Ireland uh, from Dublin and so we wrote a, I wrote a song about that and then I got my friend uh, Thomas Jackman to give me a hand finishing it up and then we shot the video together we're doing it as a duet. Very cool. And, and we shot the video with Steve Bloor over there, so it's we're very happy. Yeah, now believe me, yeah, we do get a lot of stuff coming from Steve Bloor. We really, really do. He's very, very um, well. He's got a wealth of talent, doesn't he? He's very busy. He's he's the go-to guy over there. Uh, in fact, I was the guy to give you. I think I said you need to get a hold of Grant in a couple of years, two or three years ago now, in New Zealand. You need to start getting that guy on your list. There's a guy, you know, that you need to be getting music to. And so that, I think that's how it all came about. And I'm, I mean, I like him. He does a great job. His prices are ridiculously good. The quality is fantastic. He does all the graphic artwork, too. And that's all part and parcel of the whole deal. Well, I tell you what, Dan, the next time you run into Steve, and I mean literally run into him if you're seeing him in person, yeah, give him a poke in the eye for me, won't you? I'll tell him you said how. <laughs> Do that. I will. Please, please. Have yeah, good. yeah, he's, they're a great guy. And his son, Dan, that works with him, the two of them, Dan and Steve Blur, they're just brilliant. They really have an eye for doing videos. They're, they're just good to work with. Well, believe me, we're fascinated with what they do and absolutely appreciate everything they do. We really do. So please pass on the respect from us here, all the staff. I will Galaxy. do it. I they, promise I'll do it. They really do a great job. Uh, don't go anywhere just yet because we're going to do a couple of things afterwards. But for everybody else that is joining us right now, please, uh, in very, very short time, we're actually going to British Columbia to catch up with the band Animal Souls. Michael Fish is going to be joining us. You're going to love it. You really are. So hang in there, guys. But in the meantime, Dan, thank you for joining us. Looking forward to catching up again. Maybe not a year's time. It's a long time between drinks, my bro. There's a little bit of time this, a long time this, uh, this one. I may have to come over there in March then and see what else is going on and bug you. Yeah, please, please, I beg you. We should do. It. Yeah, all, all right, really. We'll go and um, all right. We'll go and race planes together or something. What do you reckon? Okay. Yeah, we can do it. <laughs> yeah, either that or you know the wife's going to ask me to throw you out of one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Pass respect on to the wife as well. Hang in there, folks. We'll see you very, very shortly with Animal Souls. But in the meantime, let me tell you how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV. Big record, Sony Music, The Orchard, right here with Galaxy. Another ending artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and Sony Music, The Orchard.